Wow, Ian, double toot. To what do I owe this voluminous pleasure? I will be with you very shortly. Well, 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 I was muted. Uh, I've forgotten how to stream. <laughs> one week, one week of being a founder and I already do not remember how the internet works. I should not be muted anymore from what I understand about OBS. Um. <laughs> Are we playing bingo yet? <laughs> Welcome in Ian and congratulations on redeeming first. You are officially first in today's chat. So congratulations. I don't know what I did to deserve double toots, but I think that's a that's a good thing. I mean, Yoast, is it Friday already? I think so. Also, two hour nap sounds very nice. I'm quite jealous, um, but it is definitely Friday. Wide column databases. Luce, was that an answer to a question? Ooh, sound alerts ripped you off. That's not good. Can I replay those? I can just do like this as well. I can just toot on my own. Where's my toot? There we go. I can just toot on my own. Uh, I mean, sound alerts ripping you off. I mean, you're the one ripping the farts. So... You know. Um, well, anyway, welcome in Luce, welcome in Sound Alerts, welcome in Yoast, welcome in Ian, and Ophelia, welcome in to you as well. Ophelia, have you thought about your reward? We, uh, <clears throat> we had a little bit of a negotiation last time. Um, you may notice that I have given you something in chat already. You may or may not have noticed, I'm not sure. It's not immediately obvious. But um, I wanted to reward you with something independently, I may add, independently of winning bingo. I just wanted to uh, give you a kind of additional appreciation. And so I went ahead and made you VIP along with uh, the other VIPs who are here in chat. You can now count yourself uh, as one of those VIPs. I hope you enjoy your newfound power. Although it doesn't really give you any particular power, actually. Let me think about this. Hmm. No, I don't think it gives you any power in particular. What does VIP do? Actually, like realistically, what does it actually do for someone? Hmm. I wonder. Uh, is chat working? Because I don't see anybody writing. Ah, ice cream. I know that chat is working. <laughs> it makes you feel special. Is that a power? That in itself is already a power. That's true. That is definitely already a power. That makes sense. I, uh... I need to also change one small thing. <clears throat> Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything about ice cream, Yoast. If you had a nap, do you still deserve ice cream? That's the real question. Two hour nap, do you still deserve to have an ice cream? Mm. Anyhow, Ian, uh, sorry to hear you got ripped off by sound alerts. 
I guess that's just the price you have to pay. Are you paying in bits, actually, in those? It's not telling me. It's just triggered the fart sound, so I actually don't know garbage. if you're... <laughs> I don't know if you're garbage. <laughs> Oops. That was uh, quite good timing. <clears throat> you're most welcome, Ophelia. You, you certainly deserve it. You be here. You're here a lot. You're very supportive. And so I appreciate that. So I have bestowed upon you the vips. The vipping of the vip. Flyboy, welcome in. Welcome in and very nice to see you. Uh, am I sure? Am I sure about what? That I'm not a lemon? <laughs> Who else thought the go live notification was a little play? A little play. A little bit of a play on Panther's go live notification from today, which was I am a Garbage. lemon. <laughs> Garbage. I was watching a bit of Panther's stream before. Uh, I saw that Panther included a garbage meme now, too. Our lemon sherbet. Hmm. Hmm. No Mitch and a day off is a lot of trolling. Oh, no Mitch today. Right. So you know what streaming today? I actually don't know what most streamers' schedules are. I just see a notification and I click. That's basically it. Um, it's I'm, I'm a simple man. I, I see note if I click. It's not, not very complicated. Um... So yes, we are playing bingo. If you would like to play bingo, use the board command to see which board we're playing with today. Do you still have time to watch streams? No. <laughs> the, the answer is no, I do not. Um, but I still, uh, I still like, I try to get into everyone's stream at least once a week. For a little bit just to say hi and see what they're doing see how they're doing um so the reality is i still do but i maybe do it next to like while i'm working on something that allows me to watch a stream while working not all of my work allows me to do that unfortunately some stuff needs just concentration and no audio whatsoever some stuff needs just music because it's too distracting with words. But yeah. Um, Maddie made me VIP, so now I have to watch every stream. Well, Yoast, because you've been watching so many streams, you became VIP. So isn't it a bit of a catch-22? In a way? You know? Um, it's certainly not necessary to watch my streams. I, whatever. Like, there's no... <laughs> no, Ophelia, no. There is no pressure from my part for any of you to be here. I would still stream with zero viewers. I did in the beginning and I would still do it. If one person at some point found my content helpful, I think it's still worth it. <laughs> he wants us to always be here, which we would be anyways, chicken and egg. That's right, chicken and egg problem. Just like our startup has. It's VIPs all the way down. Yes, it is. It is VIPs all the way down. Uh, speaking of startup, so if no one here knows what I'm talking about, we have a chicken and egg problem because it's a marketplace, but we've chosen to focus on one side of the problem. Can anyone guess which side? Supply or demand? That's the question. Sherlock. No, wait, that's a different thing. Mm. Ian, I look forward to Mondays and Fridays. Thank you, Ian. Uh, wait, is that because of my stream? That's a really loaded comment. Wait. Uh, hmm. Wait a second. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a reference to to my stream or not. Um, how did the first week go? That's a that's a very it's actually a very complicated question to answer. How deep do you want my answer to be, Ophelia? Ah, oh, my stream. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ian. Because, you know, everybody looks forward to Mondays and Fridays. You know? I think. I guess. I don't know. Actually, do people look forward to Monday? Maybe not. Mm, maybe less. Maybe less. Um, was, ah, was I able to get some sleep? Or did you have to go for that 24-7 you were talking about? Ah, uh, well, 
actually so in terms of sleep it was quite reasonable i didn't sleep very well this week but i slept enough usually i'm sleeping between five and six hours something like that i tend to play <laughs> i tend to play a little bit of catch up on the weekend which i know it doesn't work that way like someone once told me sleep isn't like a bank you know you can't like sleep before something like to bank some hours and you can't refill them later or something like that's not the way it works but despite that i i still kind of just sleep more when i need more so um in the context of sleep it was okay it's certainly not the best sleep but i think that has to do with the fact that i am under a lot of pressure i think i'm putting most of the pressure on myself though to be honest of course our investors and 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 stuff um like one second our uh you know investors and and things like that they st stakeholders and my co-founder as well we obviously have pressure but i think the most of the pressure is coming from ourselves like we want we want ourselves to succeed and it's been such a long time that we've been working on the idea over eight years actually um we've been working on the side for eight years and we only now managed to go full time with with the investment that we got so it's been i think the most amount of pressure that i'm feeling since a very long time because it's kind of something that just has to work and that's i think it's just fear of failure as most people probably have to some extent um fear of failure and that's that can be very crippling i think can be very crippling you kind of get decision paralysis where you, you start questioning everything that's happening around you you start to say all the things that we're doing do they even do anything like are we seeing any results whatsoever and a lot of the stuff that you do you see absolutely no result whatsoever tangibly so you think it's useless and so you stop doing it and then you know a couple of days later a couple of weeks later or months later it turns out that that was actually really important and uh, that's just very so okay i was rambling basically Fear of failure is better than fear of not trying. 100%. I'm 100% with you on that one, Yos. So, I would say that we do not suffer from decision paralysis whatsoever. I would say we spend far too much time deciding on a lot of things that are probably inconsequential in the end. Um, I don't know. Fave icon of a particular page. It's like, who cares, you know? Um, you know, doesn't matter. Um, what, 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 what can I say? Trying stuff is important. I think I would be if I'm afraid to let people down who have trusted us and given also their money to kind of because they believe in us and the idea. And I'm, of course, afraid to disappoint them. And so that's something I'm coping with still. Still coping with that, um, but all in all, the first week has been good. We met a lot of people. <laughs> yes, do drop. Drop, if you like. Let's drop together. Everybody drop. Um, we spoke to a lot of people. We're doing a strategy called Door to Door. A lot of people are not familiar with it because it's a fairly old sales tactic. It was actually like from the 60s and 70s where people would actually ring your doorbell at home and try and sell you something. Um, and we're actually recruiting <laughs> recruiting uh, people for our startup through um, through door to door initially for a lot of different reasons I won't, won't get too deep into right now. Today is more of like a SQL stream, but I can definitely, if people are interested, I could do more startup streams as well. Um, I don't know how receptive people are to that so i'll let you decide chat if you want to hear more about that kind of stuff but um i mean some things obviously i can't reveal but i can talk quite a lot i can talk about a lot of stuff so we're going door to door which means that we are meeting quite a lot of people which yeah during covid is maybe not the best but it's at the door with safe practices so that's okay but it, we're getting a lot of feedback 
we're really getting a lot of feedback and we're able op to optimize a lot of things. And in this first week, we've already made good progress. We've had quite a few signups. We've had a couple of meals go online. So all in all, I think looking back, the week has been has been all right. It's It's gone. I, I sort of had no expectation, if that makes sense. So I, yeah, it's gone. I can't say better than expected because I didn't have an expectation. It's gone. It's gone well. Yeah, I would say it went well looking back. What definitely has not gone well is uh, my personal care. I should be spending, sorry, I should be spending a lot more time at the gym, eating properly, and that came up short this week. I ate fast food too many times, I ate shitty food too many times, I didn't go to the gym, uh, so I need to learn to balance working on the startup, which is basically a 24-7 job. There's always something to be done. And taking breaks, taking breaks and knowing when to call it quits and 2 a.m. in the morning when I'm doing something and I'm, I'm super into it, just being able to pull the plug and be like, listen, you need to sleep because you need to wake up at this hour tomorrow, I don't know, 7, 8, 9 a.m. and do this and that. So it's better to get to sleep, you know, and that's hard. That level of self-control is, is hard, definitely. It's been a good experience so far very challenging i think it's the hardest thing probably it's one of the hardest things i will ever do in my life i think until now at least it's been one of the hardest things so far definitely and it will it's going to get a lot harder before it gets easier so yeah i mean we're both in for the journey my co-founder and i so it's new you want to do everything as good as possible it needs time to find a balance and let go when it's necessary exactly learning when when to kind of you know when to kind of cut off something and say okay it's good enough as it is ship it kind of thing not necessarily product dev stuff but like marketing materials communications emails all that kind of stuff but yeah ophelia you're 100 percent right um, I am aware of it, so I think that's healthy. I agree. What I'm also aware of is that this is like my fourth attempt on day four of Advent of Code in SQL. And I have decided that, you know, if you run into a wall enough times, then you should probably reassess your approach to the problem if that makes sense. So I think we should get started, if that makes sense. If everybody wants to get started, I don't know. Um, so let's switch scenes and get started. So, <clears throat> funnily enough, funnily enough, this exercise is about bingo, which I think is pretty funny. I didn't even look at, you know, I didn't even look at the board, which is really funny. I just changed the number. I just changed the number. I have been outside a lot. More than I'm comfortable with, probably. Um, I wanted to see which board we're playing with today, or about what the configuration is like. I won't check any tiles, because I don't want to give anyone any hints on what has potentially happened or not happened yet. But I was just curious just curious where some of the tiles are oh Ophelia so yeah did you decide on uh, what you wanted your reward too cold outside uh, it's also been very cold here today it was actually snowing today which is nice uh, Ophelia did you decide on what your what you wanted your prize to be because I know we were discussing you could either have five entries five tickets in the next giveaway or <laughs> you've thought about it all week. Did you reach a conclusion? <sighs> it's totally up to you. I'm fine with both options. I wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot. Yeah, so, okay. So basically, 
these are bingo boards, right? And until now, until now, what I started doing was saying, okay, there's a draw order. What is happening here? So there's a draw order. If we look here, for example. End of input. Oh, oops. Can't even write SQL anymore. So there's a draw order, right? Seven, four, nine, five, eleven. That's these this one here, right? This string. Seven, four, nine, five, eleven. And you have a, a draw order here. And based on that draw order, you could have each board. So like this, right? Where you have each board split off into into like this final board. Let me just do this. So I have a final board, which looks like this. And so you have a board number, a row number, position for each number, and then whether it gets drawn, right? So the bingo draw is seven. That's the first draw order. And whether these two match or not. And you can see, for example, this one here. So the first board, the first row in the first position, 22, gets drawn in the 20th order. Oh gosh, I've uh, missed chat. You thought about it all week? Hey, ADHD designer. Hello, Shannon. How And Jay Walter, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in to both of you. You'll go for five times words on stream. I need more practice. Okay, Ophelia, as the official winner of uh, the first round of stream bingo on last week's stream, or on Monday's stream, I hereby grant you five one-time redemptions for words on stream. One-time redemption means that you can play one round, one round meaning we play until chat loses with or without my participation. And you can clip that as evidence if you like. I need to make somewhere a note that you have five and then I need to make a, I need to have, you know, I'm just gonna do a post-it, hold on. So we're gonna do a post-it. Oh shit, I just hit the mic, sorry. Ophelia. Five times words on stream. The camera won't autofocus because it's a shitty old DSLR. But I have written down five words on stream redemptions. And I shall cross them off as you redeem them. Or for 14 hours, whichever takes longer. Uh, no to nos, happy birthday. It's not my birthday today. Why did you think it was my birthday? But welcome in. Gold afton to you, Jay Walter. <laughs> Those are a lot of paper balls. They're also very large. Hmm. No, no, it is your birthday today. Really? I, I feel like I would know if it's my birthday. I think we'll go classic. Uh, I think we're going to go classic. Hold on a second. My stuff's too far away. Such a big desk. Um, where are they? Oh, they're down there. We're gonna go classic, Ian. Kit Boga style or pilot style, depending which you prefer. So how how do you know I'm confused about it being my birthday? <laughs> I'm confused about this. Oh yeah, I wanted to switch these around. Cause um code reading is easier for me like this uh, we can probably close that birthday glasses yeah I still don't understand where you're getting the birthday thing from <laughs> no I, I, I don't understand it so this is what I did 
by the way shannon i appreciate that you're here because i know you were saying that you're very tired and you didn't um sleep very well this week when i was earlier in your stream so i appreciate you coming in i, I really appreciate that thank you yeah so this is like this is a bit strange um this is the order this is the order of the draw so the 20th number in here is 22 so this one gets highlighted on the 20 on the 20th draw but that's not how bingo works right bingo works by drawing a number so the first five for example and then checking if there's any completed rows or columns jay Barty, welcome in glad that you're playing bingo with us uh we'd be chilling okay shannon that's good chilling's good so originally my plan was the following my plan was to draw the first five numbers like this so after the first five so if you do select star from draw first five it would draw the first five numbers you see here one two three four five one two three four five and then i would check on which of these there is a match and you can see here these are all marked as false except this one for example this one is a match on the fifth draw right and so i would take all of these matches and i would do a bingo check so that's here bingo check one i would do a bingo check one where i would check uh here bingo check one i would check if there's a bingo basically is the column a bingo or is the row a bingo in the sense that um when it's marked equals true so i add one and then i would basically check for the sum of them so if i do sum of row bingo and sum of column bingo and then i need to add a group by i guess here group by one i don't really remember this code oh that's not good um why is that 25 well anyway this was the original idea you're forgetting how I never understand from these streams. So I also don't understand this at this point. Because basically this isn't going to work. Because what I would need to do in order to do this is I would need to draw the next number. Which means I need to do draw 6 or draw 6, right? The number 17. And then again, check the board. And I would have to write for every single number in this sequence of numbers i would need to write two queries so i could do that which would be a lot of code and let's not forget the worst part is this is just the test data the full data of the day four draw is way longer I don't know how long this string is. So day four draw, if we just do a little, um, if we do here, if we change this from, uh oh, I pasted something by mistake. If we go to here, and instead of draw test, we do draw like this. Look at this. It's a hundred numbers. It was, it's a hundred numbers to draw. So I would have to go through, there would be 200 queries, 200 sub queries rather. And each query is like, what? 52 to 80, well, 52 to 78. It's like 25 lines. That's madness. What's 25 times yeah, it's like 2,500 lines of SQL to process this. And the thing is, I'm doing the same things every single time. So what I thought is, hey, I know JavaScript. 
I know what a for loop is because of FCC, Free Code Camp. I've learned loops and I learned how they work correctly. Surely there's the same functionality in SQL. And yes, there is. I've shied away from them for a long time, but there is the same functionality in SQL. A for loop. The thing is that I've shied away from it because it's it's awfully complicated. It's it's just somehow for me it's so fear inducing because it's so complicated. But I have no choice now because either I need to give up. There's three options. I can give up at day four and go to the next exercise and say I cannot do this in SQL. I, I go to day five, basically, which would be extremely frustrating for me because I hate leaving things unfinished. Don't call me Shirley. Surely I could not do that. Option two would be to write 2,500 lines of SQL with a lot of copy pasting, which is extremely boring and performance maddening. Like this just doesn't make any sense. Or option three, and that's the one I have chosen, is to learn how to do a for loop. The problem is using a for loop to iterate over a range of integers is not the same thing as iterating over a function to check bingo. So this is what... Oh, hit the microphone again. Seriously. I need to... I need to try and figure this out. Get paper balled. I still don't understand the birthday thing. Oh yeah, option four, use a different language like Haskell, which I, lo I know literally nothing about Haskell. Um, Steven, welcome in. Why not a while loop? Um, no, no reason yet. I mean, I first need to understand how for loop works in SQL, but Probably a while loop would be good because I can't break the for loop. While loops are controlled by a condition, not a range. Ah, yeah, then that would be the right, that would be the right thing to do. Have you ever done a while loop in Postgres or SQL in general? Oh, here we go. Haskell, which country's language is that? It's a programming language. Oh, I see. Hmm. So how does this fit into a Postgres scenario? I know nothing about it either. It just sounds funny. And on my private bingo board, I had got saying that word. What? <laughs> Is that a tile? Is that a tile on today's board? I don't even have that in my list. Haskell? What? I... I'm very confused. Very confused. <laughs> what's, with the, what's with the commands, Ian? Sky and Pluto? Also, Steven, in MSSQL, occasionally, not often, I don't tend to actually do logic in SQL. I prefer to use a language that's good at that. Yeah, you see, I like pain. Oh, you're running a shadow bingo. DM for access. <laughs> what is this shady back alley bingo stream stuff while we have an official bingo running? You can't run... What's it? What is it, like, illegal bingo in the background? That's definitely not allowed. Okay, so let's try this out because I don't, I don't know how this works. So we're going to find out. Can I just run this? Illegal bingo. Yeah. How do I run this? I don't understand. I'm so confused. I don't get it. 
Stream bingo .yoast. Oh my gosh. Have you cloned stream bingo? It's not accessible. <laughs> it's not accessible, Yoast. This is a trick. Is there even a Yoast domain? I don't feel like there's a... A Yoast TLD. I've been blocked. You're in. Oh my gosh, Shannon. Oh, that's Yoast Limited. TLD. Bad cough today. Hmm. I don't think there is a Yoast domain name. We are back, raising 10 million to start .yoast. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool that's pretty cool okay i think this is some elaborate scheme to get me to cross off one of these tiles i feel like okay so this is a while loop but how does this how do you execute this i'm a bit confused i need to look at a different i need to look at a different thing because i don't understand this um well i understand the f i understand how a while loop works this is the output but it's not running the whole thing ah that was it so it didn't auto detect the whole thing okay 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 so it stopped at counter four yeah let's let's not that okay so let's think about this from a from a loop perspective what we have to do is first, we have to bring out, how do you combine a while loop? Oh, Ophelia, we'd like to have Fiona. Okay. Let's bring up Fiona on the bunny cam. It will block the board. Oh, I can just see her butt. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I would like to know if Fiona is doing okay. Actually, I was with her at the vet this morning, so they haven't found anything wrong with her. Explicitly. They tested her blood. Her blood. And I almost said butt. <laughs> they tested her butt. I mean, they, they, you know, checked her spine and all that kind of stuff. And she seems to be doing just fine. Hold on, I'll angle the camera. I can actually move the camera. It's a little bit elaborate, but I can move it. Let's see if we can move the camera a little. Because it's just her butt. Come on. Uh, this way. There we go. It's actually better that way. Should probably leave it there. Transparent would be kind of cool. Transparent? I don't follow. Oh, bunny butt over the bingo board. <laughs> what if I just change the transparency of the thing? Is there a way to do that, actually? I wonder. I mean, technically, there's filters. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Uh, let's try. Um, sorry, Steven. This is very important. We need to look at transparency. Um, I don't know which you would... Which one would it be? Color correction? Ah, here. Opacity. <laughs> 30%? It's a bit strange. Can you still read the code? I haven't actually tried to play with any opacities until now. I've always kept everything the way I see it. Because it's a bit easier to stream that way. But that's interesting. So I could do like... I guess the camera is also over it. So if it was behind it, this thing would need transparency. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll leave it on full for now. We don't need to read stuff. I mean, the instructions are there anyway. But, uh, <laughs> okay, so use a while loop to insert stuff into a temporary table. Then you can select from the temp table as normal. 
So I want to do everything in query. This is the challenge, Stephen. I have given myself the constraint for Advent of Code. The constraint is I want someone to be able to download the data set and is as a raw input be able to run my query from GitHub in order to understand how my query works. Whether that's a good constraint, hmm. We can see the code, so that's okay, but it's still quite a cool feature to keep things on screen while seeing everything else. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. I'll have to think about that. For the moment, yeah, overall, like, placement stuff, Ophelia, I feel like I want to change a few things, but I, I don't have time to do it, so I don't know, I have to think about it. But I'm glad you made the suggestion. So, okay, the constraint would be, can we use a while loop in a CTE? Temp tables are in memory. As long as they're running a Postgres, it will work. Um, So what I'm wondering is from a syntax point of view, how to actually have, how to actually run this together with some things that I would formulate as CTEs. That's the big question. Is that what you mean by temp tables, Steven? Ophelia, I also know now that she is okay and she's taking a bath. So you can hide the bunny cam again, if you like, <laughs> even though I do not mind not seeing so much of light mode stuff. Exactly. It hides light mode too. It's like restricting it. So what I would like to know is how to combine. Ah, here we go. This is very old though. This is very old. 2012 is too old. Recursive CTE avoiding loops. This could actually be a ah, function, actual functions. Mm. Interesting. So basically, from what I understand here, we create or replace a function called ins returns void as body declare blah 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 okay hmm <sighs> remove the final select from the cte fiona just casually chilling after her trip to the vet yeah so she did very well she did very well we already got her preliminary blood results and everything is fine. The issue she is having is that she has something with her hip, probably. She just struggles sometimes to, she struggles to walk occasionally or yeah, rarely almost. She's like, not limps, but kind of has a bit of a wobble in her step. I don't know, it's very odd. So I wonder, actually, can you... What is this? Can we use a while loop in the CTE? The answer is no. But... Because oh. I don't... I don't understand how to combine... A while loop... With... Uh, with a CTE. Because I need to... I need to like process this data first. Like I need to do, for example, the draw order is fine because I can actually do that here as part of this function. What is this stuff? Pop-ups galore. Where's the CTE? Oh, cool. 
we will create a function having the name while loop sum all, which will have a while loop in the function body. This looks interesting. This actually looks pretty interesting. Let's take a look at this. The formatting is atrocious. I'll just say that now. Um, so it completed, but how do I run the function? Oh, I have to actually select. Ah, I can pass something to the function. Ooh, this becomes, yeah, this becomes very viable now. Okay, this becomes very viable. Wow, the SQL is actually very powerful if we consider this. Uh, interesting. I need to understand syntax before I go further with this. So let's break this down and then I can start to understand what's happening here. So create a replace function, public, while loop sum all integer returns numeric language. I guess we can probably omit that. Can we omit the language because we are in Postgres? Um, cost, cost, is that necessary? It doesn't explain what what that is. Postgres cost function. I actually don't know what that is. Has anyone heard of that before? Volatile cost 100. Volatile. Every function has a volatility classification and volatile is one of the volatil volatility classification. A volatile function can do anything, including modifying the database. It is default, so it can be omitted. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Cost 100, independent blah, 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 declares the cost per row of the result, which is used by query planner to find the cheapest plan. Also don't care about that because this is a local database. So if we have a function and then we have this, it still works. And if I pass 15, it will give me 120 because it takes, I don't know what it's doing here. I have to read this. Essentially, this syntax is the same as SQL. It's just math at this point, I think. I want to know what it's doing. We'll execute one more function call with a different input value. Takes input as a number, then sums all of the elements starting from one to the input number and return us the result. Adding up the numbers from one to n, triangle numbers. Is that what this syntax is? I'm not familiar with that syntax. What is that called? Can I search for this? Postgres declaration. All variables declared as not null must have a non null default value specified. Equal can be used instead of blah, blah, blah. Ah, assignment. Assignment of variables. So basically, if I would to read this, counter is an integer which starts at one. Sum all is an integer which starts at zero. While counter is less than or equal to n, which we have passed through the function, I should make sum all the sum all plus the counter and the counter is equal to counter plus one and return sum all. Okay, I understand this. This is understandable for me. Um, syntax wise, should probably be like this. I think we'll take the cam away. Hmm. 
so okay so let's make a change here and let's see if we fully understand this this will be the way to this will be the way for me to fully understand if i know what i'm doing let's get rid of this this function is going to be called while loop um min value oh that won't make sense i would have to pass an array uh while loop stop for example um where is the break in the while that's the real question this track's annoying and i'm glad that it's over Rugmat, why are you not a lemon? I'm not a lemon because White Panther is apparently a lemon. That is the short answer. Would you like the long answer? <laughs> That's the short answer. But I'm not a lemon. So if I were to search for Postgres while loop break. So this is, ah, this is automatic, isn't it? This is as... Ah, exit terminates the loop. So basically, because I don't know this condition, this is the problem, Stephen. This is the problem with a while. Um, I have to draw. This is the exercise, right? I have to draw all the numbers, and I need to exit if there is a bingo. I need to exit on a condition. So if we do while loop exit, I need to see geeks for geeks. Ah, we can use exit with a condition like this. Okay. So basically I could have something like um Let's imagine a scenario. Let's just keep the function here for a moment. We have a we have a function that does a while loop sum all. Okay, I don't know what is with today with the music chat. I'm sorry. This is not pleasurable to listen to. That's better. So if I were to pass an integer that is, for example, five. So five gets passed, the counter starts at one, sum all integer starts at zero. So when the counter is less than or equal to n, this should return 15 because it does sum all plus the counter, it's going through each of the individual ones. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five. One plus two plus three plus four is 10 plus five. This is SQL, Rugma, yeah. So I'm doing Advent of Code in SQL, which I know a lot of people are telling me, why are you doing this? I don't have a really good answer. I don't have a good answer. You're exiting the loop on the first iteration. Uh, uh, but why does it return 15 here then? So it has to be, it has to be after the loop. Here. It's still returning 15. D do declare blah, 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 count, blah, 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 and loop. Where's the loop? End loop. End. Oh, hold on a second. Because it is painful and cool at the same time. <laughs> Painfully cool, you could say. Painful for you, cool for us. Y yeah. I guess. Oh, this is so mind-bending. 
SQL and functions together. It's just somehow I've been avoiding this for so long because it's just so painful. It is really painful to think about this because it's not it's not like JavaScript that I'm familiar with. It's just it's different. I can't explain it. Um, this is really just very awkward. It's just very awkward. Basically. I don't even know how to format this properly. I guess like this. But at the end of it, you might be a pro at SQL loops. Well, here's the thing. My assumption is I haven't looked at it the other days of Advent of Code. I could, I could, of course, but I don't want to. I assume that this is not the last time I will need to use this. And if it's not the last time I need to use this, then even if I would skip day four and be like, you know what? Skip day four. I can't do it with SQL. Let's go to the next one. Eventually, I'm going to hit the same problem again. Happy New Year, Maddie Two Shoes and Chat, and Happy New Year to you, Finite. Have we not heard each other yet until now? Well, you can still say it. it's first week, right? For everybody tuning in, for everybody tuning in, there is an important message. I am part of a team called The Claw. We are a team of, of streamers. And many of those streamers are here in chat today, like Finite. And it is highly advisable for you to check out all of these streamers because they all have something different to offer. I don't know if anyone else in our team does SQL, actually. I think Finite, you know a bit of SQL, right? I think Jay Walter also might know a bit of SQL. Hmm. I have no idea about the other stuff, but there are so many things you can and have to use loops for that I'm pretty sure there will be more. Yeah. Yeah. Exit needs a label. Should be exit loop when counter. Ah. Okay. Really? Let's try. It says it doesn't like that. Hold on a second. This is very weird. Now the exit needs to be in the loop body. Yeah, so now it's in the loop body. It doesn't like that. Let me go to 10 and it should still give us 15. Ah, no, it didn't. It didn't stop. It didn't stop here. Huh. Interesting. Using exit block label. So begin statements, exit, and then statements. What if I just do exit when? Maybe it's a target label rather than a loop label. Hmm. If we look at the example here, I mean, exit normal block, normal block. Ah, wait a second. I think we need a label. Begin, raise notice, blah, 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 before block. What if we, uh, what if we put in a label here? Maybe we need an association here. Maybe this needs, to, oh, sorry, wait, this needs to be before the begin. Oh, it doesn't like that. What is this anyway? What is this syntax? Begin something something, raise notice. Uh, what? Oh, 
I wish there was a really, really good guide for understanding this because this is blowing my brain out on a Friday. There's no break. Stack overflow, we go. Let's go! We go to stack overflow. Exit con terminates the loop, continue continues at the next iteration. You can attach a label to loops and add it as a parameter. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's what you're, you're meant about the label. So if this is a loop, so if we do a I'm not going outside. Are you going outside, Yost? Hmm. Uh, code example using all three. Ah, hold on. Here we go. Okay, I have tables already. Jesus, couldn't they make a less complicated function? Come on. Ooh, SQL function with recursive CT. This, yeah, see this, this is beyond my level of SQL. I'm not comfortable seeing this. I am, gotta go outside to get stack overflow. It's across the street. <laughs> what? I, I consider myself a good writer of SQL and this is beyond my understanding of SQL today, like quite far beyond. So it always makes me a bit nervous because I used to think I'm like a, I don't know, eight out of 10 on SQL. And then I read this and I'm like, I'm a five. If I, if I don't understand most of this, it's like, okay. I mean, I kind of know what it's doing, but I'm not familiar so much with recursive CTEs. Anyhow, um, this is recursion is, is awful. I, I want to see this function though. They don't have stack overflow shops in Switzerland. I've been to, if you've actually been to stack overflows offices in London, um, did you have to ask a question to get into the lobby? To get into the building the security guard at the front is like excuse me sir uh i need you to uh oh sorry wait he's in london uh, excuse me sir i need you to answer the following question answer a question what's your stack overflow rating <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> to get into a building you have to show what your stack overflow rating is <laughs> Uh, okay. Declare, begin, if not exists, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is so hard to wrap my head around. Look at this, there's an actual for loop here. You had to upvote the elevator. <laughs> to get upstairs. <laughs> Nicely done, Yos. Nicely done. You had to upvote the elevator. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, okay, so here's the thing. This is a for loop. There's a loop here. I just, this is so much to understand. How is someone supposed to debug this? Oh, like, I can't, I can't debug this. I just don't understand. Exit when not found. Maybe the exit condition is silly. Exit when... Exit when... Thumb all... Equals five. Uh, okay. Use a for me loop instead. For me! For you! For I! Ian, you're just... 
You're such a giggle box. Okay, so we're... Maybe it has to be here then. No, that, that couldn't work because it's the end of the loop, right? That wouldn't work. Um, maybe less than. I feel like it needs a name. Ah, wait, sorry. I, I included this. I didn't want to include that. No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, data grip. No. Bad data grip. Some all's never five. Yeah, exactly. So I put less than five. So it should stop at three in this scenario, which it doesn't, which means it's not triggering this. But I do think that this is the way to do it. Um, I think this is the only way. I think this is the only way to do it in SQL for this exercise. Essentially, I already draw a number. This is the draw order, which is fine. It will just it will just iterate through the numbers. And then it will have to I guess it will Well, I haven't quite figured that out yet. I have to create a board for each board. And then I want it to crawl over the board and then after the first five drawings or after each draw it will just check if any of the boards have a bingo meaning the condition here is not bad it's just probably not correct with the sum basically what i did here is incorrect we'll have to work on that afterwards but i need to get i need to get functions working here in order to do this and I don't understand why this doesn't work. Loop. Select blah 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 from blah blah. Exit when not found. That's in the loop. Ah, wait a second. Maybe I need to do before the function declaration? It must be an order thing, right? It has to be like... No. What's the problem here? I'm passing 10 as a counter. Exit when sum all is less than 5. Sum all is the summation of sum all and the counter, and the counter is a counter plus 1, so it goes up every time. So it goes while, and then it should hit the exit condition. Purely based on this logic, there's a loop and loop, and there's a loop and end loop here. Okay. And then if you have a loop that does the following, and then you say exit the loop when this is the case. Yeah, why doesn't that work then? Hmm. Sum all starts as zero. Oh. This doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense, chat. This just doesn't make any sense. I need another example. I need a different example.
Okay, so there is a block label here that could be done. So we could have a block like that, but it's having some kind of issue because this is declared as part of a function. What if we don't... I don't... Begin? Yeah, so there's an exit condition here. Uh, begin outer loop. So the declaration needs to be after begin here and then we do exit lock like that no see they don't even use the they don't even use the terminology they just say exit when Can we, uh, raise notice is like console log. So what if we were to output this? What if we were to raise notice, sum all, counter, and then sum all, counter, maybe not do a hundred. Maybe do, do five first. Okay, where's the output? What? Shouldn't I have seen that in the output? Huh. I think there's something because this is part of a function. Let's, um, let's, let's do like this for the moment. Let's take this bit out and just do it. So we do, we do declare. So we do like this. Sorry, I have to format it. Otherwise it's a bit weird. Okay. So we do declare and then we just run this whole thing. Unterminated dollar quote. What? In position three. Do you have a function selected while you're executing? If not, then it's not even reading your new code. It's using the existing declaration. Wait, can you hold on a second? So I have to select this whole thing. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. I have to stop this. What's it doing? It's doing something. So if I create a replace function if it's not selected when you execute, it's not replacing it. No language specified. Oh, I actually need to declare the language then. Oops. Um, okay, I didn't realize I need to do that. I thought it's default. Uh, what's that language thing again? Um, hold on. Postgres declare language. I forget. Okay, Steven, thank you for that because... I don't understand why this wouldn't just be default. Oh, because they have 
What? Chat. There's Python in Postgres? This says PL slash Python. I'm not making this up. What? Wait a second. There's one for JavaScript too? No. Okay, hold on a second. No. Wow. Uh, mind blown, yeah. Like this? Can use JavaScript in Postgres. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. PL slash V8. It exists. JavaScript in Postgres. That is freaking insane. That is nuts. Oh my gosh. You doubt the uh, Ad advent of code server will have that. This is my own server. This is running on Docker. Thank you very much for the follow PK Patricia. Um, do I? I think I know you, Patricia. I think you are sometimes in Panther streams, right? Yeah, this is uh, Postgres running on Docker. I well, yeah, submit my code. No, I no, I just have to submit the answer, Stephen. I just have to submit the answer, not my code. They don't care how you get there. <laughs> They don't care how you get there. No, no. Rip performance. Yeah, probably. I'm already very afraid. Docker is like... You can see up here, Docker is already eating. Like, well into... Well into here. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Docker is like, Mmm, more RAM. I shall take more RAM. You know? Yeah, let's not do that. However, that is super cool. That is still super cool. Submit your code equals submit your Bitcoin mining. <laughs> yeah, I guess everyone would start mining Bitcoin on his server. Uh, the guy who wrote Advent of Code. Probably not a great choice. Not a good choice. Yeah, so, okay. Declaring function parameters, we, we saw that. I now understand that I need to put a language, which is um, Postgres slash... Oh, now I don't remember the... Postgres function language. Function? Function. Okay, pl slash pg sql. That's the one. But where do I declare this? I think it's outside. Her name is Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Isn't she a politician in the US? Does this not go here? Yikes. Uh, you know what? It's somewhere in my clipboard. 
I have to blur though, because my clipboard is very confidential. Um, yeah, yeah, here. Okay, so here. Uh, returns numeric. Language. Ah, it's like that. I'm glad we changed the syntax on that one. Um, enough jokes. Wait, it's not there. Okay, I did something wrong again. Why? Why? Boop, 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 boop. This is the drop song, people. Is everyone ready to drop? In quotes. It is in quotes. I'm gonna look at my thing that I just deleted. Everyone needs to drop now. Everyone please drop, please. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, let me just check this function again. Create a replace function returns numeric. Returns numeric. Ah! Alias. There's the problem. Problem identified and solved. So now... Hmm... Surly disabled my digital friends, it seems. Ophelia, 9635. You are extremely lucky the last few streams. Good drop. Very good drop. That is a very good drop. What I... Okay, I don't get this. That hype cat is a winner. For sure. This doesn't make sense to me. Because... It's not outputting anything. Typo in word. Yeah. No kidding. Um... I mean... What should happen here, if I do, let me just do a test with seven. The whole thing, run. Where is, oh, here it is. My bad. Okay. So we see sum all and counter. Sum all is one and counter is two. So, Here's the thing, we can debug this. Exit when sum all less than one. Ah, that's never the case. What about less than five? So if we run this again. Ha! It worked. Sum all is one. One plus two would be three. That's still less than five though. Why did it stop then? Ah, because one plus two is three plus three would be six. Right. Three is indeed less than five. One is less than five. That's correct. Cool. Okay, it works. It works. This works. So now I just need to figure out what to pass in here. As, and this function needs to be part of a SQL statement. Let's do a, let's do a CTE here. Um, let's take this CTE here. Let's call this draw num. 
and then we will take a short break. So if I have a draw num as blah blah blah. Oh, I need to do the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's working. So what I could do is say, can I use stuff from here in my function? I guess I can because I just have to pass it as something. So if I'm passing n as an integer, what if I'm also passing a counter as a as a like a integer as well? Ah, so I could pass the counter as well. Ooh, okay. This is this is very JavaScript familiar. I only need to pass n. In this case, I'm going to call it bingo draw. Well, no, let's keep it as n for now. It makes things less complicated. So I'm passing n as an integer. Uh, so this, let me just check something. Select star from draw num. What's this bingo draw? Um, bingo draw as n. We're going to call it n. So now we have an n we can use. Oh, maybe that's actually very silly. Bingo number. Call it bingo num. So we have we have a value we can use. So what we have to do now is just say select public dot while loop sum all bingo num. Oh, it doesn't know from draw number. Does that work? Does this work, chat? While loop sum all text does not exist. Ah, this is an integer. I think this will work. I have high hopes. Oops, that's not good. Okay. Here we go. Yes, it works. It works. Okay. Do we need this alias? Do we need this alias? That's the question. No, we do not. Okay. We have achieved a status that I can live with right now. I'm going to take a quick potty break. And in the meantime, I, I also can't believe... Oh, ho, ho, that was very close, Ophelia. That was very close. I almost said it. That was very close. You almost got me on that one. That was super close. Very close. Almost super lucky. I shall go make potty. And I shall see you all in a short few minutes.
Oh, Ophelia, you are indeed quite a smart cookie. Quite a, a quite a smart cookie, I shall say. I didn't fall for it, but now you would get the other tile because it was technically super lucky. I'll give you that one. I shall give you that one. It was also super lucky that it worked. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't expect it to work at all. Um, you have your moments. Everybody has their moments. How's everyone's week been? I was so focused on, on me now and I, I don't feel like that's right. I didn't ask all of you how your week has been. Um, first week back at work for a lot of people or are some people still off, still on holiday, uh, enjoying some time off or did everyone get back to work already? What about you, Yost? I know you are working on tons of side projects. Yost is the author of streamers.dev which is a really cool site where you can see all of the live coding streams and not only can you see all of the live coding streams you can also explore statistics which makes my heart beat very very fast in my chest because I love data as you know and there's all kinds of cool stuff here. There's all kinds of cool stuff here about like which languages and just tons of cool stuff. The one thing I will tell you, Yost, okay, I will just give you one, one tip. I love the work that you're doing, but please, please do not use pie charts with more than two segments. I don't care about dark mode font color right now so much. It's readable. This one, this one's a bit harder. The most, the most, the most, like, how, how do you say? The worst thing that, honestly, the worst thing to say about this page is that you should not be using pie charts <laughs> for more than two segments. Humans cannot compare visually. It's not easy for humans to compare more than two segments visually in a pie chart. It's just very bad for humans. Three is still technically possible if there's big differences between them. Um, but definitely not pie charts for these. Find, find a different one. You know, there's this whole um, find the right chart. There's a whole um, there's a whole thing uh, I use. Or is it this one? There's this whole thing that you can use. Um, or like where you start, and this is the thing, right? You start with this question. What do you want to show? This is the most important question. It's not about chart types. It's not about making it pretty initially. It's about what do you want to show? Is it about the relationship between things? Is it about the distribution of things? Is it about comparing things together? Or is it uh, something called composition, which is Composition is quite hard to understand, but if you look at the examples, you should be able to kind of get... That's the one I always struggle with the most. For example, in, in our case, one of the things that is important to remember is like, if you want to see like um, only differences between channels, but not care about the channel size itself, comparing each channel to each other, but not caring which channels are of what size, then something like only relative differences would matter. So like this channel has grown by X percent over its own growth period versus another channel, which has grown X percent over its own growth period. So only that relative difference would matter. You would use a stacked 100% column chart, for example, with very few periods. I think most of the stat stuff is going to get drop downs to drill into a country and then I'll let you compare two to each other or to the aggregate. Yeah. Mhm. Mm That's good. Yeah, with that kind of thing you'll be safe. You'll be safe using something like a bar chart. Um you could technically use double variables with two widths. I don't know if that's something that you can do in your graphing tool. That's something that most tools can't do out of the box is make one variable with one column width and another variable with another width. That's really cool. Um, or even shading. So column chart, but with, uh, 
cra it's crazy amount of stuff. Um, anyhow, just a thought starter. Other, other, uh, the page is great. Like honestly, that's really, really cool. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, <laughs> but I didn't get around to doing it. All right, so let's think about bingo. Let's think about bingo. What do we want to happen? We need to draw. We need to draw the numbers. And as we draw the numbers, we need to check whether a board has the number and then check the state of the board about whether it's in bingo. Basically. You're welcome for the pointers, Yos. No problem. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've, at some point, if you want to have a more in-depth chat about the data viz stuff, I'm happy to do that. You'd probably be better off talking to someone who's a data viz specialist, though. There's quite a few. Um, there's quite a few in the R, the R stats community. I can point you to quite a few. Um, on Twitch, I mean, there was Shirley, but she doesn't really stream anymore, like once a month. Um, would be an interesting topic to stream about actually <clears throat> yoast just saying if you were to stream something that would be that would be pretty much a banger showing like meta twitch stats with live commentary and stuff that's that's pretty much gold right there so this is what we want to happen i have a number that gets drawn. Um, I need to create different functions, right? Or is it one one function that checks for bingo while I draw? I will have to build this incrementally because I do not I do not know how to build this otherwise. Um, is this function in itself? good yes i want a counter i do not need a sum all function necessarily it will actually be a bingo condition or something this will probably be boolean and by default it will be false i think that's allowed um <laughs> you get the hint is that so um you have a lot of front-end learning. Well, Free Code Camp is good for that. I emailed Twitch Legal an API question four days ago, and they haven't written you back. You need to wait on their answer before you attract too much attention. All oh, right, because of the retention stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you know, all those other sites are capturing and storing all of that Twitch data for a very long time, so. I think they expose it, so they expose it. You know what I mean? Whether you're allowed to retain it or not, they can't prove, you know, if you would retain it. That's the thing. Hello, boss fighter. Welcome in. Nice to see you again. So the sum all, I don't need the sum all. Counter is counter plus one for the loop. And then exit when bingo equals true. Simple, right? And then return, I want to return the counter that it's currently at. Because that would be basically... That would be basically... Um, that would be basically the... the I, is that what I need though? Score of the winning board can now be calculated. Start by finding the sum of all unmarked numbers on that board. Oh, I didn't even realize it's going to go this far. I have to know which the numbers are not marked. Uh, mm. In the meantime, if a drone flies past your house every 30 minutes, that's nothing to do with me. <laughs> we have very strict uh, drone flying regulations here in Switzerland. So... It's very unlikely that a drone flies past my house. That's for sure. You want to get you want to keep keep 
Twitch stream titles for more than 24 hours. Yeah, but that's the thing. They offer it via API. So any retention, I don't see how they can enforce retention on that. Even if it's stuck somewhere in their API stuff, I still think they have bigger issues to solve. Which I will do a hot take on that at some point. But anyway, are SQL functions standardized? Um, how do you mean, boss fighter? I had to write this now. I had to write this function. So I think I'll need multiple different functions, to be honest. Because I could take the result from this function. Oh, this is crazy to think about. What if I do fun result as and then do select star from fun result. This is valid, isn't it? Oh, that is sick chat. Oh, that is really cool. That is really cool. Oh boy. That's really cool. I didn't think about that. So 749511, these are the drawings. Oh my gosh. My mind is exploding right now. I have the appropriate meme too. I can smell the creative juices. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> My mind is like exploding with possibilities of what I just realized. Are SQL functions the same Oracle, Postgres, or MySQL? Um, I don't know actually. I don't know too much. I'm I'm only learning functions now. So I couldn't really tell you. I couldn't tell you. So what can I do here? If I pass oh, I know what I can do, chat. I know what to do. So the first thing to do is to pass the bingo board number and compare to the draw and mark if matched why is it ignoring my oh right that's the wrong comment style <laughs> pass the bingo board number let's let's just write down the pseudocode here so this is how i imagine it to go we're going to pass the bingo board number and compare it to the draw number and mark if matched. Then create the marked board like in temp and evaluate if bingo. Then if bingo board then sum all the unmarked tiles of the winning board. And then the last step is sum times last number that was called. so drawn this is very elaborate even for sequel if i manage to do this then i i'm basically a sequel god because i don't see how i'm going to do this right now but let's go one step at a time this is what i want to do one step at a time do i need different functions do i need one function, I don't know yet. 
the first function I want to do is... Thank you, Ophelia. I, I can probably do it. I just don't know if I will do it today. That's the thing. Um, pass the bingo board number and compare to the draw number and mark if matched. So we're going to call this compare bingo. Compare board. Let's call it compare board. We already have all the stuff prepared in theory because all of this stuff that I did already all of this stuff I did already is actually useful which is kind of awesome because I don't need to rewrite all of that so we have thank you for sending the good vibes Ophelia I appreciate it oh my gosh what is happening what is happening okay i think we just got raided but stream elements doesn't know <laughs> what a raid message <laughs> What a raid message. White Panther. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid, White Panther. And no, I am not selling ass.com. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. <laughs> Let's just switch. Let's switch to just chatting for a second. <laughs> Just so you can all see this glory. <laughs> Panther, did you at least explain where this joke comes from before telling everyone to ask me if I'm selling <laughs> if I'm selling <laughs> a dollar dollar dot com or ask dot com no you just told everyone to use this as a raid message i will explain to you all where this came from <laughs> this came from the fact that at one point we were talking about domains in panthers chat and i said i am the owner of a very cool three letter and five letter domain combo would anyone be interested and Panther, <laughs> Panther got Very a little cool. bit. Oh, wow. UK, thank you very much for converting your prime sub into a tier one sub. That's very generous. Um, Panther got a little bit ticked off. Ah, not a, no, not annoyed. Maybe minorly annoyed. I don't know. Uh, I think Panther was probably amused and said, stop shilling your, <laughs> stop shilling your domains in my chat and yeah and that was basically there was the start of the joke of whether the domain is whether the domain is ass.com oh i see we have something rgb okay rgb under gdpr look at all these acronyms okay gdpr it is you love it when i pedal my wares Thank you very much for the follow, Salt and Burnham. I need to need to do my identity. It didn't work. Let's try again. Now it should be anonymized. I'm now anonymous. I don't know what you've done with Maddie Two Shoes, but I am Maddie GDPR Shoes. Welcome to my stream. These are identity protection glasses, GDPR, conform with the General Data Protection Regulation. Welcome to my stream. <clears throat> Hands on. $8.com exists. Oh my gosh, that is atrocious. That is awful. That is truly awful. GDPR cookie crumble. <laughs> what if someone can break down the reflection in the glasses? Good luck. 
Good luck to you. Thank you, uh, it's me, Delano, for the follow. Yeah, my stream elements is definitely sleeping. Let's fix that. That should not be the case. Might have to just refresh it. Mm-hmm, you can see my screen. Select information from stream keys where GDPR equals false. <laughs> Nice sequel. Nice sequel. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so everyone, welcome in. Uh, I hope you had a good stream, Panther. I assume you were playing words at the end, probably. Because that's what happens on your stream. Uh, <laughs> if you want to try and break down a reflection in my glasses, then please feel free. It was wild. Oh, Steffi spent 50k! to play words that is fantastic that is truly fantastic yellow drop database hello that noob hello steffi and everybody else who came in with the raid lovely to have you here my my name is maddie gdpr shoes i am stepping in for maddie two shoes as i am currently protecting his identity according to the redemption from gak but normally Maddie Two Shoes would be here and he would be doing some sequel Advent of Code. And yes, Advent of Code was in December. He's fully aware of that. But he's also fully aware that you can code anytime. And choosing to do it in sequel is, of course, quite painful. But Maddie seems to enjoy that. Therefore, we shall get to coding does it mean we soon get maddie clones no i do not have the capability to do that i am just purely protecting his identity as is requested by gak gak bull so i don't know um if someone wants to drop a follow and see if the alerts are working now otherwise i will just assume that they're working again Select cast, Matty Two Shoes as redacted from Twitch where redemption is not null. I see Felis that you also know some sequel. That's fun. I'm just going to get Matty back in one sec. Okay. Panther, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Did uh, Matty GDPR Shoes protect the stream accordingly? I've tasked him with being uh, very good at not revealing any personal information. <clears throat> I think I was being excited. Maddie GDPR's vocal resonance. Oh, wow. Yeah, he does have quite a deep voice, I heard. This is true. So, this is where I am at. And Gak apparently wants me to code with even more difficulty. Thank you, Ophelia. We are additionally playing bingo. Maddie, not to alarm you, but somebody stole your beard. Couldn't tell who it was. They wore a disguise. Yikes! Yikes, yikes, yikes. That is not good. Stream deck, cooperate. Cooperate. So you will now see uh, a set of tiny fingers. That is the hands-on redemption from Gak. I am now only allowed to type with my tiny hands. As if this already wasn't difficult enough, Gak. Thank you very much for doing that. I already have enough difficulty trying to understand how freaking functions work in SQL. And now I'm supposed to type with tiny hands. Like, honestly. So listen. Um, whoever was, whoever was, whoever stole my beard, um, I'll have to look into that. Thank you very much. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, so Ophelia, um, pasted the link for the board, the bingo board for today. If you want to play stream bingo as we, as I'm streaming, feel free to play with that board and if you do get bingo, then just use exclamation mark bingo to declare bingo. Felis, you are a PHP web dev by day. And what about by night? 
Mm hmm Where do you get the tiny hands from? I got them from Amazon. Which we actually do have in Switzerland, but I had to get them delivered to Germany. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a thing. So I need to figure out what I've been doing now is advent of code. By night, <laughs> I'll, I'll allow this, Felis. By night, I'm a pain in the butt in learning the game dev. <laughs> so I'm doing advent of code. I'm on day four, which means I will probably have enough content for the rest of the year at this point, because it's 25 days of programming exercises. Um, you know, so that's probably fine. Um, funnily enough, day four is about bingo, which is kind of funny that I also built this tiny little bingo stream bingo dot party thing. Uh, I built that actually. And it's kind of funny that day four is about bingo. Now, I'm doing an in sequel, which many of you no doubt will tell me that that is nuts and bonkers to do that in sequel. And you are absolutely 100% correct. Um, I just am very familiar with SQL and I think it's a great language and I wanted to challenge myself because I write SQL a lot. Now I definitely met my maker with this one. I'm insane in the best way. Insane in the brain! I definitely met my maker on this one. I could not, I could not do this with, let's say, non-functional Air quotes with air hands. Um, I could not do this with SQL without function because this requires me to iterate over the board. And basically with a number series that's like a hundred draws for bingo, this, this, this query would have been something like 2,500 lines, which is for performance is one thing, like it's my local database, so I don't really care. I'm running it in Docker. Um, shout out to, um, someone who is a now DevRel at Docker, I think, uh, who was in Panthers chat earlier, I believe. Oh, I wanted to stop the disco lights. I'll let them run again. Um, for this track bonus for you, Gak bonus redemption. I, yeah. So, ah, oh, shy. Yeah. Shy. Exactly. Shy is DevRel for, uh, for Docker. That's cool. Um, Shy doesn't look like Shy is still here though, based on my tool that I can see who's in chat. Now, um, so I'm not able to do this in like basic SQL. So I had to basically bite the bullet and start learning about functions in SQL. But this kind of blew my mind because now I understand, I know how to write JavaScript. I've been learning how to program using free code camp. Uh, shout out to everyone who pushed me to do that because I think it's really good. So now I can actually combine these two worlds together, which is really crazy because I can create functions, but at the same time, I can use SQL as I'm comfortable with, right? So I have to just find a way to mesh them together. I can create apps with Oracle only using SQL and PLSQL for functions. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we even found out that there's a version of JavaScript as an extension for Postgres, which is kind of nuts. Um, you could write actually JavaScript functions in Postgres. And I didn't know that. That's really cool. So yeah. Um, if you're here for the first time, I know a lot of you probably haven't been on my stream before. Um, feel free to introduce yourself, say hi. This is generally a pretty chill stream. Uh, don't expect too much. You know, I'm just doing this for my own pain and enjoyment. Just to reiterate, <laughs> you don't deserve my face. <laughs> what is this clip? What is this clip? You don't deserve my face. You don't deserve my face. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. That was a moment. That was that's a moment. 
That's definitely a moment. <laughs> I like all the new effects on your stream, uh, Panther. Good memes. Good memes. So what I have to do now is I need to parse bingo in a combination of SQL and SQL functions. So the first thing we want to do is pass. So we have like the draw number. If we highlight this, we can see this. So you see here, we have the bingo number and then this is the draw order. We don't, we don't need the order necessarily. Um, Oh, you need to see the clip when I accidentally pressed like three multi-action buttons. Oh, <gasps> at the same time, I'm going to watch that later. <laughs> Learn your buttons. That's a really old clip too. There's an old one Steffi did as well. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't reach the mute in time. I apologize. Um, this IDE. Felis. This is Data Grip by JetBrains. IntelliJ. I don't know how to. I don't know what their official company name is. It's Data Grip, yeah. So, the first thing we need to do is we have a draw number. Then we also need to have the board. And the board needs to be in rows. Um, and I renamed this and that was a mistake. Hold on. This is called bingo num. Why did I do that? Okay. Let's just call it bingo draw because it doesn't break anything then. So basically I have a final board. And if I do select star from, but I can't type with these hands gack. How dare you? Good thing that um, tab 9 recommends stuff to me. Text equals integer. Um, cool, thought it was looking a bit idea. I'd say thank you for forgetting to mute your mic. Oh no! My gosh, Ophelia, will you actually get bingo twice? in two streams i'm so afraid now what will i offer you as a prize i haven't even thought about it for today uh i haven't even thought about it mm. would i get more words i mean you already have five credits that's kind of a lot but i guess you could get more i don't know i hadn't thought of today's prize yet to be honest. You could collect them and get a word stream. A whole stream with just words. Yeah, you'd probably have to tell me in advance. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is actually change this up here. Because I broke something in my code. Okay, bingo draw is just text. Um, and there's something down here that's checking if it's a match. Yeah, 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 this one here. So basically, I merged them together. I cross joined them here in the final board. So if I do board num pause, um, you'll see what the board looks like. Select star from board num pause. So you see here, this is the board. Basically, this one here. 22, 13, 17, 11, 0. 22, 13, 17, 11, 0. This is mapped now into rows, and I know that it's all in the first row, and I know that which position in the row they're in. That makes it easier for me, functionally, to go down them with the first draw and find if there's a match. So pass the bingo board a number and compare it to the draw number and mark them if matched. Can I do that? I don't know how to do that. Uh, 
I don't know how to do that. You gotta go Betty Buys, Panther. Enjoy your Betty Buys. I love you too. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. And good night. Sleep well. Yeah, I don't know how to add a column. Bye! Everyone say bye to Panther. Bye! Yeah, so this is quite interesting. Basically, if I pass the bingo number and compare to the draw number and mark... Ah, wait, 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 wait. I could do this before, like I did before. Because I can already generate the board. Do, 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 do. Not saying for words on stream, must be really tired. Are we doing words today? We probably will, yeah. Uh, final board. So if we do final board, where does final board come in? Yeah, I would have to pass this as an integer because I didn't convert it. Ah, uh, what did I call it? Bo draw value? Bingo draw. Anyway, this isn't so important right now. Do you see here? Okay, this is what I want to show you. Basically, in the first row, so in this number here, 22, when there is the draw order 1, the bingo draw is 7, and therefore this is not marked. So, it's kind of like this, right? You basically do when draw order equals 1. So basically this is... Excuse me? When? Oh, I wrote... I wrote when. <laughs> Why did I write when? Select star when? It's like in time. So here, draw order one. You see that this one is a match. That's on that board. And there's a couple others too. These are all marked as true now. Now the thing is... Oh, I don't know. I just don't understand the logic. This is so complicated. What needs to happen is I need to I need to save those as marked at that point in time and check if there's a bingo. And that's what is complicated because that's basically in this loop function. Okay. I need inspiration. I need inspiration of how to do this because what I don't know how to do is to check for bingo. Because I need to iterate in the loop function, I would need to do something that would go outside the loop to check the entire board. So I would have to have the board on this level and then loop with it. Oh. This is beyond complicated. I think there is someone There is someone named Mitchell who has been doing Advent of Code with Postgres. I feel like this is cheating. The thing is that I need to understand how someone built this function because I will not be able to get there on my own in any reasonable amount of time. Definitely not. Even if my answer is going to, my answer is probably going to be different. I'm justifying that. Create table, create table, sample boards. Okay, splitting out the input numbers. Splitting the boards. Okay, I did the same thing. 
Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. This isn't even a function. What? Replace all of our numbers in their boards with their order. Pick order. Winning row is all rows ordered by the one that won first. Max pick order. Winning row unmarked. The sum of the unmarked numbers left on the winning row. Wait, what? How is this possible? Is this just a... I think this is just a different logic. But returns the same... Oh! That's what it is! Interesting! Oh my gosh. This, this demotivates me so hard. Here I was learning SQL functions because I didn't see a way of doing this. And now there's actually a way to do it in native SQL in a hundred lines. Yeah, in a hundred lines. Wow. That is so demotivating. A strange game. The only winning move is not to play. Upside, you now know SQL functions. That's a win. That's true, Steffi. Uh, that is a win. But holy moly. What a way to do it. So I did the same thing here. I basically... You could still be the one that does it the other way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true, Ophelia. That's very true. That's very true. But... I guess, like... <laughs> I'm already here. I'm, I'm already here. I'm already at his solution here because basically I have I have all the boards with the order that they're drawn and if they match. And then the only thing that he did was he basically just summed each line. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little bit different. Um. That's from War Games, is it? I don't think I ever watched that. That's why probably why I didn't recognize it. <gasps> well, well, I could be the one that does it the other way. That's very true. But I already kind of have the solution. <laughs> Professor Walken, would you like to play a game? That's from Saw, kind of. I think. The movie? I have a great idea. Also from War Games. I have a great idea. It's 11.30 PM. We have cool techno running. Let's play words and then raid someone. And next week I will do something else because I have something else to show you. I have a different idea. How about that? I think that's a good plan. I like the idea of that. All of you know words. Cliffhanger! <laughs> yeah, I just, I have something else to show you all. And I'd like to show you. I don't know how exciting it is, but. 
I will allow everyone to warm up your keyboard fingers. Finger stretches, chat. Stretch your fingers, be prepared. Is everyone ready for words? If you're ready for words, type WOS in chat. This is just terrible for my ADHD. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome, Yost. You're welcome. I'd like to stretch my brain. Yeah, uh, words should stretch your brain. So if everyone is ready for words, type WOS in chat. Oh, this, this music is amazing. Ophelia is ready. Yost is ready. There should be like 40 other people that are ready. Lass uns gehen. I need like five people who are ready. Steffi, Werther, lass gehen. That's three. I need five players. I need five players. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. Pickles Nathan, was. Let's do it. We were at four people. Do we have a fifth player? Was. Okay, it's a question. Virtus in meine Freunde. Felix, you are player number five. Therefore, I think we do have enough players. I think so. Yeah. J Barty, let's go. We have six players. Okay, let's do it. I think I can start it. No, I have to interact with the thing to start it. Lass uns gehen. All right. If I type exclamation mark start, will it actually start? Oh yeah, it does. Cool. Okay. Jabardi is the Wasmeister. <laughs> Remove. Hey, pickles. Nice. You were clipping WP's mayhem. Ah, oh, yeah, it was a very clippable stream. Okay, everyone's still locked. There's one four letter word left. Hey, ever. J Barty, very nice. Well played. Let's continue. Ooh, a Z? No fake letters. Interesting. How's music volume, by the way, chat? Gazelle. Nicely done. Nicely done. Some serious words players here. Ice cream. <laughs> I was just wondering how loud the music is for all of you. It's very hard to judge sometimes. One of these days. Let's go disco mode. letter words left wow chat you're doing very well so far i have to say 
Very, very good. Skipping three levels. I will give all of you a chance to reload the stream if you um, want to reload because of lag. And then we shall continue. Elig. Elig? So there is a fake letter this time. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say the X. But, yep, sloth. Nicely done, Nathan. Pickles Nathan. Or is it Pickles Nathan? Could also be. Um, there's one. Get myself on the board, you know. Mm, slot. Lost. Hot. Hmm. Host. Uh, Holt? No. Tosh. Hey, nicely done, chat. Wow. I'm very impressed. I'm super impressed, chat. Right now, I mean, Ophelia, you're smashing it. Tied with Jay Bardi. Um... Nice. Very impressed. Music might be a bit loud now. I think. So, there is a fake letter again. Oh boy. Jeez. Uh, plug. Okay, the G is safe and the P is Oh, epilogue! Yoast! Very nice. Yep, so it's the Z, which is fake. So ignore that. Plague. Uh, no A in there. Guile. It's also a German word, guile, which means really cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, doing pretty well this time, but we might be close to losing if we don't pick up the pace a little bit. There's a lot of, like, L and E words, maybe? Uh-oh, this doesn't look too good, chat. E 65 out of 71, can someone get a word in? To save us? Oh no! 70 out of 71. I don't think it's enough. <laughs> oh, chat. Oh, chat. So sad. Garbage. <laughs> F in chat. F's in chat, indeed. F's in chat. That deserves a rerun. I think we need more players. I feel like we need more players. But... We can play next time. I would like to end here. I am more tired than I thought, initially. A lot more tired than I thought. <laughs> 
Um, hey, sociable Steve. End of stream. Good timing. Yes, unfortunately. But don't worry, we're going to raid someone very cool, I have to say. They are a... Now the word master is here. Yeah, 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 Steve's here now, but uh, I'm... No, I'm really... I'm more tired than I thought. This week has taken a lot out of me. I'm actually going to be working tomorrow as well, so I need to... Yeah, I need to conserve my energy. But we'll see each other next week. Thank you very much for the new follows. Um, it's me, Delano, Salt and Burnham, PK Patricia, Megame Mowler, Admin Bandy. I can't read these. They're too far away. Foam Island. Um, Men Menher Abin. Didlicks and Pickles Nathan. Thank you very much for the follows. Um, thank you to the person who converted, I think it was UK, who converted their Prime into a, uh, into a real sub, <laughs> let's say a paid sub. Um, we're going to go raid Snow Cone, Snow X Cone, actually. Um, please do say hello and take it easy, chat, and we'll see each other next week. Enjoy the weekend. I shall not... I shall not work too hard, I promise. Um, have a good time. You can backseat the crap out of her. She loves backseating. <laughs> she encourages it actively. So if any of you want some good coding content, that's the place to be. So stick around and see you next week. Bye, everyone. Thank you.